once again, I welcome all of you who uh, are joining us here, joining with me as, uh, as I pray this Mass. Certainly know my continued prayers for all of you as we uh, make our way through these challenging times. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we continue to make our journey of Lent, hearing about Jesus being re rejected in the prophet Jeremiah. So we seek in our own lives to remain ever faithful and committed to God, in spite of any opposition or or, or challenges that we might face. So we prepare for these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sin, and we ask God for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your people, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sin we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor, from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, in my distress I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. I love you, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying flood overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I caught upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I caught upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice and my cry to him reached his ears. 
In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are God's? If it calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we hear the scripture readings, things that at least at the beginning sound pretty bad. Here we have the prophet Jeremiah, who will simply is responding to, to God's instruction to proclaim you know, God's decrees and, and, um, and, 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 and speak to the people about some of the ways that they're ignoring God or turning away from, from God's laws and commands. And so the response to um, Jeremiah is that the people turn against him. And so he's reflecting himself, saying, oh, I hear the whisperings of many. Tear on every side, denounce, let us denounce him, see if they can catch him in any, any misstep. And, and, you know, thinking about that, where um, obviously there are many places in the world today where Christians are still persecuted, and so maybe not exactly like Jeremiah, but still experience that kind of denouncing and, and opposition. And maybe we also experience that or have it in our, in our own life. Maybe at times when maybe somebody has pointed out one of our flaws or weaknesses, you know, and then at first we don't want to hear that, so we respond sort of negatively toward them. Well, who are they? And, you know, how come not, who are they to say anything about me? You know, so, so maybe we, we um, uh, uh, respond like that ourselves. Or um, maybe we've had that response to us. Maybe a family member or someone, a coworker or somebody we care about, you know, we point out something that we see in them and they don't take it too kindly. So maybe that's part of our human nature, even in the day of, of the prophet Jeremiah, where people didn't want to hear how they were ignoring God and, and, and living in a, in, in a in, in, in whole, or an unholy or incorrect way. But so, you know, hopefully that, that um, you know, those kind of um, statements or pointing out some of those flaws and weaknesses um, aren't done with um, vindictiveness and meanness but you know, if they're, if they're um, offered in genuine care and charity, might we all somehow be open that we can continue to work on, um, on, on growing in, in the perfection of God, 
So, so, so we hear that uh, again from Jeremiah. You know, Jesus, of course, continues to experience this um, rejection and resistance from the Jews, or you know, often referred to as his enemies. He's trying to stone him or recognize um, why they shouldn't believe in him. Today, they proclaim the word that he's. It's because of blasphemy that Jesus is making himself God. Well, Jesus, always in love, continues to try to explain to them, trying to lead them along, that somehow they might be converted and live. So he's like, well, you know, do, do what you, t take what you need in order that you might not remain unbelieving. So it's like, well, if you don't believe the words that I've said or that I'm saying, you know, believe, look at the works. You know, and as we think about some of those, think of, uh, of the miracles that Jesus performed feeding the 5,000 with a couple loaves of bread, or uh, as we've heard during Lent, um, healing the, the man born blind, or restoring um, hearing to, to the deaf man, or, or um, forgiving the woman, uh, the Samaritan woman at the well. I mean, just over and over, these are incredible things that Jesus has done that most clearly speak to him as, as far beyond any kind of earthly power. So these works that Jesus does clearly um, also point to him being the, the Son of God. So as we continue on in, in, in our day, maybe especially in the light of our continued challenge with the coronavirus, I mean, know certainly of my prayer for all of you. I know it's a challenging time for, for many, just as we face so many uncertainties and, and the curtailment of so many freedoms and things that we look forward to this year. And, and um, probably all have heard by now that the governor has now extended the stay at home until the 1st of May. So likewise, that means for, um, we're not permitted to have public masses now until at least uh, May the 3rd. So, so, so for some and for all of us, that's somewhat of a hardship, but maybe we look forward, you know, look at it and just say, well, gee, it's about four more weeks. I think I can get through it. You know, and, and, and who knows, you know, how things will go and, and what will happen. But so, so in all things, we continue to look for that inspiration, you know, whether it's words or works of people around us, as Jesus clearly made efforts to help the, the Jews and his enemies come to accept and realize who he is. May we also be, be mindful of those signs and those words and those things around us that fill us with that hope. And that inspire us. So maybe, you know, your prayer or conversation today as a family or wherever you might be, that maybe you can try to do that. You know, think about yourself or maybe, you know, share among family members or any of those who can be together. You know, what are some signs uh, of, of uh, God's goodness, of those tremendous things that God still does? You know, we think about a person who is healed of some sickness or disease. Or we think about those who reach out in, in, in amazing ways during this time to care for a neighbor or strangers or, you know, and so maybe there are others, you know, things in, in, in your life that you've experienced that as you look back on it, it's like, well, somehow that clearly is an indication of the presence of God and, 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 the, and, and that assurance that Jesus, in the end, it, it can be relied upon and trusted and, and ultimately come to know that hope and that promise of, of life and goodness that is offered to, to us as we accept and believe in Jesus truly as our Lord and the Son of God. As a community of faith, we unite um, throughout place and time to grow in our trust in God. And so with sincere faith, we offer to the Lord our needs and our prayers. We pray for the church throughout the world. We pray especially for those who face resistance or persecution because of the profession of the Christian faith in, in our day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world. We pray for our president and government leaders and all who, who um, are in positions of leadership but often face rumblings and denouncement of many. May they continue to learn and know what's right and good 
and lead us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all Christian people. May these days of, of Lent and approaching Holy Week be a time of, of um, uniting with the Lord and all of his teachings and works and deeds, that we might find that, that hope and assurance that comes from his great love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all children and families, especially those who are forced to be together a whole lot more these days. May they be patient with one another. May they continue to find ways to, to help each other and grow in kindness and in holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who, who suffer from, from great trials in life, those who lack the basic necessities of food and water and shelter and, and home. May, um, may, 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 they, may they find what they need. May people be generous in reaching out to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with the coronavirus these days. We pray for the doctors and nurses and healthcare workers who, who um, seek to care for them and often put their own lives in danger. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died. We remember this day on David Michael. May he and all the faithful departed know that eternal rest and peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pause to remember your own prayers. Almighty and gracious God, we give thanks for the many ways you reveal Jesus as your beloved Son and as our Lord and Messiah. We ask that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church.
grant, O merciful God, that we may be made worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the, through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in, in, exalt, in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. And for Mass today, I'll use the Eucharistic Prayer for Reconciliation, the, the second one of those. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, stating, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, 
who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people, just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with St. Michael, and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross, so that dead to sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, we have been healed.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We'll recite the St. Michael prayer. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.